apologize y'all I am not feeling a hundred percent but I had to get this bag review out to you all because unfortunately I will be returning this bag so let's go ahead and get into the review and a little bit later I'll tell you why I am returning this beauty so this is the beautiful Le Sport Sac Mini North South Tote in the print Tawny Leopard. This print really caught my eye, you all. I pretty much have been kind of wishing for it ever since I saw it on Amazon's website because currently that is the only place you can find this print. Now, you can find many North-South totes on La Sport Sex USA website. However, there is a super large variety of these many North-South totes on the Japan La Sport Sex website. I was blown away when I saw all of the different options and I felt a wee bit jealous as well. <laughs> they have access to so many beautiful prints. As y'all can see here, I was just amazed. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into this beauty right here. You all know I am a big fan of this style. I have two other bags that are mini north-south totes. The beautiful Mickey tote. You guys have seen this. I do have a video on it. And then also this beauty right here that I used a lot in the beginning of spring. This is the Painted Picnic Mini North-South Tote. Well, as you can see, there is a beautiful front pocket right here. And I have to mention about this zipper, you all, and you're probably not going to be able to see it or notice it in the video, but it is so incredibly smooth. If you have ever felt the sport sack zippers before, it's honestly nothing to call home on. There is, and I wonder if I can show it in this mini North South tote, the Mickey print one. There's a little raised I don't know, like a little raised dot right here. And you can feel it. It is not something that hurts. You can also feel the raised letters of the word La Sport Sack. However, and let me see if I can bring this bag closer so you all can see. This is completely smooth. You cannot feel the raised letters. You cannot feel a little dot here. It just feels really substantial in my hand and it feels, in my opinion, it feels better made. <laughs> okay, and so we have the front pocket. Get closer here so I can open it. 
and I want you all to take a look at that beautiful lining. Wow. La Sporsac, thank you so much. <laughs> this lining just gives me pure joy when I look at it. My mini North South tote, the Mickey one, unfortunately has a black lining. So seeing this beautiful light orange color, it's gorgeous. So in the front, I have this beautiful little pouch that a friend of mine sent me. Hey girl, if you're watching, I will link her videos down below because she is another fellow YouTuber who does an amazing job showcasing beautiful bags, what to put in them. Y'all know everything that we ladies love. <laughs> So she calls this her little boo-boo pouch and she made it, which is so meaningful to me. The colors are gorgeous. And I just put band-aids in here. And I love that it's completely flat. It is perfect for this compartment right here. Okay, so that's there. And then I also have the tags. So you all can see, it says Mini North South Tote and Tawny Leopard. And this says, <laughs> don't know what that says. <laughs> all right, so these are the tags. I do have the little string because I am going to, as I said earlier, return this. And I promise y'all, I'm getting to it. I know I'm leaving you in suspense, <laughs> but I'm getting to it. So we also have the little ribbon trim that says La Sport Sack on here. And I really like how it is kind of camouflaging in the black trim. Whereas on the Mickey Doodle print one, you can see the name La Sport Sack clearly. I like both ways, but I think it's very appropriate for them to make it a little lighter on this Tawny Leopard print. Okay. All right, so that's everything that I had in that beautiful front pocket. It is completely and kind of like flush with the bag. Here you all see the narrowness of it all. I love bags that are narrow like this. They just fit so good on my body. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, and then we have this adjustable, removable strap that is on a swivel hook. I love it. It says La Sport Sack on it as well. And I actually took this strap off of the Mickey Doodle one. And let me tell you why. So this is the one that it came with. And to me, it feels really different. It kind of has a flimsier feel. And this one feels stiff and stronger. And I just like the look of it when I carry it like this. You can see that there's no wrinkles in the strap and it hangs nicely when I carry it like that. When I had the strap on that it came with, y'all, it, it didn't hang right. So that's one of the reasons why I am returning. Another reason why is, and I, I guess I'll just get to it because I'm sure y'all want to know. Honestly, I am not going to reach for this bag as much as I thought. If I wanna carry this style bag, I would go for the Mickey Doodle print or I would go for the Painted Picnic one or I would go for my Tokidoki one. I would even go for my Fayal Robin Konkin one cause that is the same like style, North South, very slim. And last but not least, I would go for my Kipling Alber. I would choose any of those five styles before I pick this one. And I was carrying this for the last couple of days. And I noticed that it didn't really flow well with my wardrobe. I don't know how to describe it, but the beautiful print that's here it doesn't look so beautiful when mixed with the prints that I wear in my closet. So because of those reasons, the strap, and I also want to talk about 
the handles because they also seem a little flimsier. And while I love the substantialness of this zipper, it's not enough. <laughs> it's just not enough because this bag was, with tax and everything, came out to $92, I believe. So a very expensive bag that I'm not going to get a lot of use out of. Uh, and especially because y'all know I have been enjoying my Lug Rangers. And honestly, I am itching to get back in them, especially my Leopard Pearl one, which I have a video on. And of course, that beautiful Indigo one. So let me show you how I have this packed because I took a picture of it on Instagram and I wanted to make sure I showed you that I am a magician. <laughs> and I have figured out a way to get so many items in this cute style bag, okay? So you saw what was in the front pocket. Now let me go ahead. Well, let me show you the bag. Very cute. There's nothing on the bag. Okay, I'm gonna unzip it, and again, that beautiful zipper, I'm living for it. Even this, y'all, kind of feels a little flimsier than my other mini north-south toes. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Let me go ahead and lower this so you all can see. Okay, beautiful. So this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm just gonna start taking out my items, okay? So in this, the way that the mini north-south tote is set up, inside it has two wall pockets and they're slip pockets okay really nice addition to this small bag i've got my sanrio characters pouch i've got my plastic reusable bag an important paper <laughs> and as you can see i have a pin kind of like clipped to the wall pocket and this is my lug pin in the color Midnight Camel. And that is everything that is in that pocket. Okay. And then here's what's left in the bag. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this out. This is an adorable little pouch, again, from my friend. Y'all, she sent me so many items. I'm gonna end up sharing more of them in future videos, but Thank you, girl, again. This is too cute. This little guy here is Cinema Roll. He's one of the, um, or she, is one of the Sanrio characters. And this size pouch is amazing. It is perfect. Okay, one second, you all. I'm going to shut my door because, of course, we've got some lawn work going on out there. Okay, now that the door is shut, um, continuing on with this adorable pouch, I love the feel of it. It's kind of reminiscent of like a coated canvas. I love the shape of this. I can fit so many little cosmetic items in here. I have my Lipstick Queen lipstick. I even put a little tiny bottle of hand sanitizer in there. Got my NYX lip gloss. Foldable scissors. <laughs> and my mirror. So I am loving this little pouch. I always opt for this size, no matter what style bag I'm carrying because I don't carry that many you know cosmetic items so this is perfect just too cute <laughs> I love it next I have my La Sport sack I want to say this is the zip ID case the reason I don't know 100% for sure is. I don't know what I did with that tag. Is that tag in here? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, I even have some band-aids in here. Look, I'm not going to be without band-aids. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I'm thinking that this is the zip case. 
The reason why I'm hesitant is because at one point in time, the sports sack, the USA website had a whole bunch of different styles of these on. And now I can't even seem to find one of these. So I hope, and I don't think they're getting rid of them because this is such a practical little piece to have on you, whether you want to carry a lot or a little. I took the little ring off and um, I love this little pocket right here for, it's just an easy grab and go for my, my Visa debit card. And of course, on the back, I have my driver's license and it stays flat, y'all. It even stays flatter <laughs> than the Kipling Mini Creativity. Of course, I don't love this better than that, but I am comparing it. The flatness is everything, if that's what you're looking for. So this is in the print Charming Cheetah, which I thought went great with the cheetah theme here. Next, I have my sunnies. I've got some little feminine products. Then I also have on the side here, <laughs> I thought this was funny how, well, this stands up in the bag, but then I put my keys right, right on the top here. <laughs> and I thought that was just an easy grab and go because the little keychain that I'm using fits perfectly in there. But this is the, you guys have seen this too. This is the Revlon and Barbie collaboration. I love this, y'all. I kind of put my own little tools in here as well as the tools that it came with. I think I added the little tweezers. I love this. This is just a nice little way to carry your nail care items. And speaking of nails, I know y'all, I need to do mine. <laughs> They've been breaking left and right. They were so long and beautiful over the summer. But as soon as I start school, <laughs> right, start teaching again, now they're breaking. But I love having this case on hand. And then last but not least, y'all know I can't go into any bag without the La Sport Sac Square Cosmetic. This little piece here is everything to me. So you all have seen the contents in here. I won't stick on this too long, but I've got tech stuff. I've got my keys in the little Ikea pouch. I have deodorant, any other little odds and ends that you know I don't want here and there in my purse. I love this and it's nice and square. And the reason why this is great is because it helps to give shape to the bag. When you put it at the very bottom, the squareness of it kind of matches the base of the bag. So when I'm putting items in here, and I'll just show you as I pack it back up, this square cosmetic is at the very bottom. And then I can put my little pouch right on top, whether it is this cute little pouch here or the Lug Mini Choo Choo, or my cute little butterfly pouch that you all have seen before. They all fit right nice on top, okay? And then I also put this on top. It sits right on top of that La Sport Sac Square Cosmetic. I have, of course, this on the side here because there's a little bit of room there on the side putting in my feminine products and my sunnies. Okay, so everything fits like a little puzzle. <laughs> That's how I like to think of it. It all fits in like a little puzzle, okay? Put this little pin, clip it. I like to clip it on, but right now I'm just sticking it in, okay? Sorry about that, y'all. I think I moved the little camera. Okay, and then of course I stick my keys right inside that little nail care pouch. And this pocket here, I reserve for my phone. It stands up vertically. So everything just fits so perfectly in this bag. This is how I pretty much pack all of my North South totes. And I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. So I am sad a little to see this go, but I just feel like with the quality issues, I just think it might be differences between the bags that are made um, 
for the Japanese customers and the bags that I made for the USA customers. I feel like there are some big differences there. But I hope this video has been helpful. And what I'll do is a quick try on. I will not show my face, y'all, because like I said, I am feeling under the weather. But I wanted to make sure I got this out ASAP for you. Thank you so much for watching. Grace and peace.